Hi guys, Piotr here, this is Life Finance Global YouTube channel, it's my pleasure to be with you again. Today, 7888 Forex FIBO strategy revisited, plus few hints, plus how you can try to uh, approach this strategy. So guys, without the further delay, let's jump straight into the video. All right, guys, as usual, please always do your own homework, do your own research. Nothing we are discussing is a holy grail uh, overall. It might be, depends on the, what kind of the person you are. Some tools, some strategies might be your own private holy grail, uh, but there is no one for everyone. So that's very, very important with um, each and every strategy you have to be prepared uh, to have some series of the stop losses uh, no different uh, no different is here so guys we were talking about um, 7888 uh, uh, FIB strategy right so for me the most important thing when I'm using this strategy uh, that's when we are falling and I want to see the pullback right i want to see that high my stop is very very tight uh just uh, above the uh the full uh, retrace or somewhere uh, depends on the price action above most recent high and in that case uh, in that case i'm trading um, the one swing of course it works uh, similarly when we are talking about the move to the upside and the pullback right then I'm looking for that deep pullback and especially I'm trading uh, this uh, from the intraday from the intraday perspective uh, especially uh, and that's the first hint uh, between uh, the uh, FX trading session right so for example um, around the uh, Tokyo close uh, and around the uh, London Open, then again around the New York Open or after the data uh, announcement. And uh, that's how it works. But as you are going to see in a second, it also perfectly uh, fine with uh, the higher time frames. Uh, but of course, uh, the stops are going to be different. Uh, the time, uh, from my perspective, from the day trading perspective, uh, it's, uh, it's working well. And it could be, as you remember the video uh, when it comes to the confluences, uh, it could work with, for example, levels based on the price action. Uh, if you have a price action level and you have a quite good FIB zone you are looking at, that could be, that could be uh, your goal. Uh, for that particular for that particular trade. All right, so that's them for the most active traders. You might be day trader, but you might be uh, not that active, right? Uh, cons I would say conservative. So meaning that uh, you need a little bit more. Then what you may want, and I'm going to show you a few examples. Then you may wait for two full swings and the retracement to try to get in. Why? Because if you do remember, not this high is active, this high is active. So this big retracement, and it's gonna be a few of them here, right? So market may want to take this stops uh, out and may want to hit the zone, then, uh, then retrace. Of course, uh, it's going to be work the same uh, way when we are talking about the two upswings so one two right then uh, you are uh, approaching this strategy in that case each double swing untouched unfulfilled uh, is going to be valid uh, so you may uh, so you may for example trade uh, let me show you the example one two another one, two, another one, two, right? So you are counting and you might trade first this pullback, but here this double might be still uh, untouched, right? So it could be this type of the pullback and you may want to try to start, start to trade from here. But this double one, 
over here is still going to be uh, waiting to be fulfilled and that's what you can trade as well so guys uh, basically you are trading the most liquid uh, pairs that's what you wanna that's what you wanna trade uh, the most liquid pairs uh, so majors are the best um, there is a liquidity and uh, it it should theoretically it should work well so in that case uh, in that case uh, that's the uh, weekly euro dollar and we may we may uh, we may start here uh, as well right and for example i'm going to give you a few examples of the uh, what what i've been thinking about the uh, about the double swing that's the big one pullback uh, riley and let's have a look uh, what we seen here right hint number two you may want to trade uh, you may want to trade uh, the breakout candles you may want to make uh, you may want to make uh, you may want to make uh, make your measure of the fib uh, from the bottom of the breakout candle for example right uh, that could be the hint number two hint number three uh, you may want to from the higher time frame perspective you may want to try to scale in uh, depends on your risk reward ratio uh, you are going to try to scale into the uh, into the position and uh, hint number three what I'm usually do is uh, minimum three R uh, why because uh, out of the ten trades uh, if I'm uh, only uh, trading and being positive three times seven times I'm losing right with 3R, meaning that risking 10, I'm down 70, but if I'm risking 10, I'm targeting 30, so 3 times 30 giving me 90. I'm still, I'm still in the money, guys, all right? I'm still in the money. So, so that's the, uh, that's the uh, trade uh, on the, on the euro dollar. Uh, from the higher from the higher time frame perspective uh, plenty of them if you are going to go through here uh, all right uh, you are going to be able to uh, to find them and uh, try to make your uh, try to make your own analysis okay another one over here okay strong Riley and then what has happened strong move to the uh, to the downside right there was another one on the weekly chart like this big riley and this strategy is works the uh, the best way to try to trade this is uh, fx market in my opinion a very dynamic market and majors as i mentioned uh, uh, the other FIB levels on the different other different markets uh, may work the 61, 50, 38 uh, might work much better but this one especially from the day trading perspective works perfectly uh, perfectly fine uh, in my uh, private opinion there are another one double uh, double one let's have a look at what would happen here sorry there is one more over here and here right so you have your double swing up on the higher time frame the most visible double swing you can you can try to analyze the smaller swings as well and boom that's uh, what has happened and what we've seen after that all right uh, so you are taking uh, into the consideration the most um, the most visible swings uh, around let's have a look what we have on a smaller time frame on one hour chart where the day traders uh, can try to uh, take the advantage of uh, what uh, what is going on and well of course you may want to trade in the overall uh, direction from the higher time frame all right but also you can take the advantage of the intraday price action like what we have here okay you were able to approach this one quite a few times and with the very tiny uh, distance between the entry and the uh, entry and the stop loss uh, there was a possibility to hit imme almost immediately uh, the three the three are uh, we were discussing of course you are going to miss few trades because if there is going to be the uh, if there is going to be the uh, strong move to the upside and you are con uh, conservative trader so you are waiting for this double swing up right so in that case 
in that case you are waiting for this type of the move to the downside so that's going to be your entry and it's still going to be valid for now because it hasn't been hit right uh, you may also want to try to change how you uh, doing this FIP stuff as I mentioned with the bottom of the breakout candle and it might be a little bit different because the latest the latest supply here 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 and here been broken with this candle so we are doing uh, this type of the stuff if you are trading the one swing only right if you are trading one swing only right so that was your attempt to watch we quite hasn't hit maybe one pip but then you are switching to a lower time frame and you are observing what is going on another another breakout candle and your measure could be here whoops sorry so we were breaking from here going higher okay actually no actually i'm sorry it was here and because that was the candle we went higher right we went through this from that candle and that's your entry all right so with that being said guys do your own homework do your own research i've shown you plenty of examples profitable examples of course not uh, if you are going to make the analysis uh, as i mentioned before you have to remember there might be some uh, losing series um, uh, so be careful that's why risk reward is so important guys wish you great next trading fibo session all the best stay safe see you around take care and goodbye